Okay, we're out here. Uh, it's about the second week of uh, beginning of the second week of August here, and we've got a nice batch of huckleberries. So we're up on top of the mountain behind my place, and we got. I come up here a little late. Most of them are already dried out, but uh, you know, if, if you find a spot that's northern facing that's not too dried out, and, and um, maybe a little moisture along a ditch, you still get some good ones. But these are some nice sized huckleberries. It's a vicinium. It's a relative of the blueberry. They sure are good. These things are just packed with flavor. They're kind of tart, but they're tasty. So we'll pick up all these ones. And I noticed I'm right beside a pet little uh, oval leaf blueberry, it looks like too. So we'll swing the camera around and take a look at that one as well. So these will make your huckleberry pies. There's another huckleberry that's red, red huckleberries. And uh, I haven't seen them around here. We have something that's called a grouse berry that grows really, really low to the ground. And it's just like a huckleberry, but uh, red. But they, I find them to be extra tart and I don't really care for them too much. But these, these ones, they're the good stuff. And it looks like we got another Push right over here. We'll get into that too. But over here is another Vicinium. These are blueberries. Um, these look like the uh, oval leaf blueberries. They're very similar, and but they taste sweeter. We're gonna pick some of these too. Set the tripod down here. Somewhere it won't tip over, maybe. Let's see what these ones taste like. This is my first blueberry I found up here. Oh boy, are those things sweet. They're drying out a little bit, but boy, oh boy, are they sweet. I'm going to pick the dry ones too because we're going to take some seed off of these and try to propagate them in my greenhouse and uh, plant them on my well. See if I can get. I've transplanted some uh, huckleberries in the past and they're such a slow grower, but I have gotten them to uh, take and survive, but I've yet to get fruit off of my transplants. The few uh, natural volunteers that are growing. I have the odd berry, but these at my, at my place they just haven't got mature enough yet. All right, you can see the difference side by side. Maybe the light blue ones are blueberries, and the dark ones are huckleberries. But they're they're both vicinium. So I'm gonna. Continue along the road, there's a few spots here that look pretty good and uh, I'll do some picking and see what I come up with. Well, I didn't have to go far. This is a leaf of a huckleberry. Some nice berries on these. Don't mind if I do. And then right beside it, right here, is a, a blueberry. Like the, they're they're growing right in together. And this area here, it's just one after another. They're all around me. So I'm going to spend some time in here. The blueberries are basically dried out, so I'm just picking them for seed now. But some of these huckleberries, like the ones over here, they're not too bad. So we're just going to pick them and keep going. You'll notice that the huckleberries, their leaves are starting to change color over here and they'll go red, bright red, even a, a purpley, like a wine red when they're completely done. But these uh, berries are sure loaded up over here. They're medium sized, but there's lots, so better pick them too. They're starting to load up the container. This whole bush is just loaded with huckleberries, so I'm going to keep at it. 
and we'll see if I can find you a really red bush to look at when they when they're when they're done. I was down on the, the other side of the mountain. It was really dry, and they're all red and done. All the berries are dried right up. So I'm lucky to have gone into a patch that's still fresh. But um, once I find some red bushes, we'll, we'll come back and show you that, and then that should be about it. Alright, here's the spot where the huckleberries are starting to turn red. This is the huckleberry again. All these bushes. They still got a few berries in here. They're starting to more dry up though. So they dry up and they get pretty speedy. The, the fruit shrinks right down. Just wrinkly. It's still good, but just more seed than uh, oh man, sweet. Not a lot left here. I've seen there's some wolf tracks on this road, and uh, the deer and the bears will get right into this. The squirrels, I've had some squirrels yelling at me to get out of their, their bush. Yeah, these ones are just finishing off. So we're not going to find many in this patch, I'm just going to keep going.